everybody and welcome back to the YouTube channel. If you're here for the first time, hi. My name is Busari Malayo and I'm a registered nurse. On this channel, I film content related to nursing and healthcare. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about simple tips for nursing students to create a study plan. <music> Just before we get into the video, if you're a Nigerian student and you're preparing for your RN or RM exam, I have already prepared study plans for you guys. So you can send me a message on WhatsApp as if you have my number or send me a DM on Instagram. I'll leave the username on the screen somewhere. Alright, so the first step when you want to create a study plan is to identify a time frame. You can't just create a study plan like and you keep following just like that, like till eternity. You ha there has to be a time frame for your study plan. Do you want to um, make a study plan for the semester? Um, do you want to make a study plan for just like two weeks to your exam? Or you want to make a study plan for a month or two months or three months? You have to identify the time frame. Number two, you have to identify the purpose of that study plan. Is it for a course? Is it for the um, course, like all the courses you'll be having? You know, there's a difference when you, want, when you want to create a study plan for one single course. And when you want to create um, a study plan for like the entire semester, like all the courses you'll be taught. So you need to identify the purpose of the study plan. So we've identified what two things now, time frame and purpose. So the third thing you need to identify now are the topics involved or the courses involved. So if it's like a study plan for a single course, you need to, you need to identify the topics in that course. And the best way you can do that is one, ask from your seniors. Asking from your seniors is a very reliable way to know the courses that you'll be taught and also help you to identify the ones that can give you issues in advance because your seniors have already gone through that process, they've already studied that course, they know that okay, probably topic A is easier to understand than topic B. So you're already you're already prepared, you you have that at the back of your mind that okay, I need to read this topic on time and make sure I understand it before the exam day because it's one of the topics that gives students problems. So you are able to identify the tough ones and the not so tough ones beforehand that's a reliable way number two is to get a course outline so for those of um for those who are in schools that are privileged to have lecturers that give out course outline though this is the ideal thing every lecturer should give out a course outline but it's not all the times that your lecturers are going to give you out it, it's um there are individual differences you understand so if you're fortunate to have a lecturer that gives you out the course outline you already have all the topics you are going to study so that that one is really really easy for you to um, incorporate that into the study plan so the next thing you are going to be doing is to get a template now you can use um, poster makers or canva to design a template or you can just um, get a cardboard and draw out a template just to have dates um, and times for you to allocate each topic or each course are you guessing my point once you have a template the next thing you want to do is to start fixing in the courses or you start fixing in the topics into your template so you have like a visual representation of your study plan i would actually advise that you have a visual study plan and not just um, a soft copy because i think um people respond to things that like they see physically more than just like soft copy material you understand it's easy for you to even delete it lose it or forget about it on your phone so i advise that you go for a physical study plan so the next thing is to put it in a place i can always see it because i cannot lie that's my fact that i have a study plan you may be tempted not to follow it or you may not even have um, the time to follow it maybe because of other school activities or because of stress or all that so put it in a place that you are going to see it so maybe you are going to put it beside your bed or, or on your mirror or you put it somewhere or where your where, um, your reading table just put it in a place that you can always see it somewhere in your room or in your corner or your space in the hostel put it somewhere you can always see it then another thing i would advise is that once you have a study plan you should augment with a study group now why do i advise this there will be days that you'll be too tired to read the topic on your plan there'll be days that you'll be um probably stressed or something um and or something you didn't plan may happen so you will not be able to um study that particular topic on the plan but if you have a study group you guys may have even distributed the entire topic or the entire courses amongst yourselves and you guys can read so one um student a is going to share and um, it's our knowledge with student b so then uh, c is going to share their knowledge with student z and everybody gets to, like um understand the entire the topic or course or whatever you guys are trying to get 
So that's just like an extra advice. Once you create the study plan, incorporate a study group or augment it to study group. That way it is possible to exhaust everything you have on the plan. So I hope I've helped someone. I hope you guys understood my simple tips. If you want to see more videos like this, join the YouTube family by clicking on the subscribe button. If you love the video, give it a thumbs up so that YouTube pushes it out to other nursing students. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.